Hi, Nikki here from Purple Patch Fishing. Well, we've just come to this spot here. There's a bit of a hump in the in the lake, and uh, it, it creates structure. So the fish tend to um, gather around structure. So we're has, having some fun on some Trevally and Taylor. Uh, great fun fishing f with the kids. What I'm using, I'm just using my little brim outfit. I've got a two and a half inch grub on. Uh, it's you know two gram you know jig head so nothing big just you know uh, just a nice little outfit to use um, you can cast it you know lots of times so um, let's go we'll see if we can get another uh, tailor let's go I've cast out towards where I've seen fish just busting up on the surface which is generally Taylor having a bit of a feed on some bait fish and we're wait for my lure to hit the bottom and you know when it's hit the bottom well you can sort of feel it but you watch your line and the line will be sort of tight and then it'll just uh, dip it'll drop and then you just lift it up a couple of times wait for the lure to sink again and hit the bottom a couple of lifts wind it up wind up your slack and again wait for it to just sink down and hit the bottom and you do that technique for all species, you know, in the estuaries. Flathead, it works on flathead, it works on brim, tailor, trevally. Having a bit of fun here, just off me tongue. There's uh, quite a few tailor around and trevally. That's a, um, and they're giving the rod a nice bend. Let's see if we can grab another one. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit of fun. Losing a few soft plastics, though. <laughs> As in, just that you, know, you lose the tail. So. Come on. Don't tell me I've got to have a cast without a fish. Tap, 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 tap. No. <laughs> tap, tap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's Taylor, but it's fun. <laughs> oh, oh, he's pulling. There he is. Go over night. Oh, he's good. fun. Here's a little tailor I just caught. You can see them busting up on the surface out there and you just, you know, you throw out your soft plastic or actually it's probably better to use a, a metal lure so that they bite you off. Um, but they're good, good fun and this size is, you know, you can eat this size. I'm only holding him with the towel because they're slippery little suckers and it just enables me to get a good grip on it. But um, yeah, you can't freeze them or anything, you've got to eat them fresh but uh, yeah, they, they are nice to eat. So let's go, we'll put him back, hey? Off he goes, under the boat. <laughs> let's try again, yay. All right, at the moment I'm throwing a, um, a grub style lure. We've also been using little paddle tails. Um, you can get, you know, your worm style, longer ones. Um, but also, you, you know, your grubs will come in different sizes. Your paddle tails will come in different sizes. Um, you know, you've got lots of different profiles. It's just a matter of having a couple of different profiles in your tackle box and trying them, see what works on the day. Uh, also a couple of different colours, but keep the colours fairly natural, um, especially when you've got really clear water. You want to have, um, you yeah, know, fairly clear, clear, uh, natural coloured um, uh, uh, lures. I think those tailor have moved. Oh no, there was a hit. I can see some tailor right out a lot further. Um, they're, set, they're moving around and feeding a bit. As I just saw the 
some tailor bust up with some, some bait fish on the surface and then a bird came in and obviously because tailor come in and hit the tail or um, I've got no lure left bugger I just got tailored right, that common occurrence is uh, they come through as I was saying they come through and hit the, hit the um, bait fish uh, which stuns them and then they go back and have an easy meal uh, so I have just lost my lure all right I've done a retie because I lost my lure same style I've gone for a different color just to try it listen to those boats in the background there's some ski racing going on today so there's some big boats a lot of power speed skiers. How cool are they? Always lots of activity going on here at Lakes and you know, Gippsland Lakes. The yacht race, you know, there's a lot of yachts come out of Painesville. Fishermen, skiers, as you can hear. They do, you know, whale watching tours out, you know, dolphin watching tours. I don't think there's any whales in here, but there's plenty of dolphins and seals. a bit quiet here though the fishing we might um, make a move try a different spot try a different you know we might go up the river a bit and, and try and fish the edges see if we can land oh oh shit <laughs> oh, well, I'd say it's gone quiet but maybe not that was right under the boat I was just about to reel it in Got another trevally. Oh no, I can't see it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Saw how hard that hit. <laughs> oh, that was good, good fun. No, yeah, it's another trevally. So he's on his side doing the thumping. It makes it really hard to pull him up. Puts a good bend in the rod, though. Let me tell you. Right. Oh. Back round so the head's facing this way. Oh, and there we go. Another little silver trevally. Oh, can you hear it blurting? They're all so called blurters. Oh, as you might have seen in the background, this great big boat's just gone past a fishing trawler. When, other, when there's boat traffic, it can really stir up the fish. I've, I've found that with flathead and with snapper, that uh, cast towards where the boats just come from, and I reckon you'll catch fish. Let's give it a go, eh? A few big waves coming though. <laughs> no, that's all right. We've got our sea legs. Play. Let's give it another go. Oh. <laughs> they keep hitting it. Just need them to hook up. 
does though, it, you know, when, when there's um, a bit of boat traffic around, even especially big boats, can uh, really, really stir them up. I suppose it's, it churns up the food and... Um, Tap. Just take it, come on. Stop playing. Don't play with your food. Oh! That's the bottom actually. No, <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> it's a, what we call plug sharks <laughs> when it gets caught on the bottom. Alright, so the depth I'm fishing at the moment is about 10 foot, um, which is three and a half meters. I'm using a two gram jig head, so it takes Oh, five to ten seconds I suppose to hit the bottom but you can tell when it's hit the bottom by watching your line your line will be tight and then when it hits the bottom it get, it'll get a loop in it and it sort of relaxes and then let it sit on the bottom five seconds two seconds ten seconds depends on the you know with flathead sometimes you know you can leave it for 20 seconds or for any fish really All right, <laughs> I'm on, but this one's a little bit bigger. I think it might be actually a trevally, this one. Because oh, it's, it's, trevally get on this side and um, they, they go around in circles and they, oh, oh not, yeah it is. Yeah. A little tre silver trevally. So I thought it was fighting differently. Um, they, um, yeah, they get on their side and they sort of get this real thump going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're strong little buggers. It's not, it's not a huge, it's not a very big one, but gee, they're, um, they've got a lot of fight in them. Let me get this one in to show you. Come back, Come back this way. Got it. Well, we've had a ball here at Gippsland Lakes on these little Trevally and Taylor. You need to get yourself some soft plastics and get out there with the kids and have some fun with them because it's it's good fun. You'll enjoy it. This sort of fishing with that, the fishing for Taylor, is so great for kids because it keeps them doing something. Um, so, you know, you can cast out for them, then give them the rod and let them retrieve until they're competent at casting. It's very, it's difficult in a boat when you've got lots of other, you know, people casting. Um, you just have to keep it a little bit controlled. But you can do this off the jetty too, um, or beaches, um, the river bank as well. Um, but it's, it's great fun for kids to be able to catch fish. It doesn't matter how big they are. They can be this big, they can be this big. You know, getting hits again. Um, and it's good, it's clean too, you know, it's not messy. For those people who think that fishing smells, it doesn't. <laughs> it's the bait that smells. After you've lifted the rod and wound up the slack, then you always will let it hit the bottom again. And you can let it sit there, especially with kids, you can let it sit there for five, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Um, it doesn't, you know, because it, oh, look at my tail. So I've just brought this lure back in. Oh, you know, and um, lost the tail. So it's been hit by little Taylor. I have to change my lure now. And so, you know, when you change your lure, make sure you've got a little bin on the boat that you can put them in, because you don't want them in the water. You know, you don't want to lose them. Oh, hit, 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 hit. Come on, take it. You... My line's just going bang, 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 bang. That, that's it. I need a little one. Oh. There must be, oh, God. <laughs> hitting them, hitting it and hitting it, and then they, they're on, and then they're not on. We call them yeah, nah, fish. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, I'm on, nah. Must have been real little ones in that bit. I'm being hit again. I can see my lines go. 
You feel it through the rod tip. Just want them to take it properly. All right, just caught this little trevally. A lot of fun, they pull hard. I hope you've liked this video. Remember, remember to like and subscribe and um, hopefully you can get out and have some fun with these little guys too. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video with the roar of the boats in the uh, background. We're going to take off. Uh, we'd love to see you out on the water sometime with your kids and uh, or without your kids. Get out there and have some fun. Bye.